All right, all right. So this is how we are gonna do it. This is how we are gonna do it. It's not gonna be the best way, but we couldn't really find a place where everything was exactly the way we wanted. But basically what this is gonna be, uh, what this is gonna be is we go over Fox's best stages of the legal ones uh, against every, every top tier. And I will shortly talk about each matchup on each stage and uh, rank them from uh, from worst to best from worst to best uh, so we have the six legal stages here so once I'm done with one character we're gonna move them down to the next character and so on uh, so let's start with Fox's matchup against Puff uh, not really any surprise uh, Dreamland Dreamland is the worst stage for Fox in this matchup the thing is the matchup is far from impossible on this stage, but yeah, as most people know, uh, what makes it rougher is the fact that killing Puff is quite significantly harder than killing Puff on other stages. The ceiling is very high, uh, the blast zones to the side are like much further away, uh, and since unless you knock out Puff to like the side, so she you know she dies to the side or dies off the top, she will like always she will always make it back. Uh, her recovery is like immune to uh, immune to getting edge guarded. It's not really worth ever going for it. So uh, Dreamland, the worst stage. The thing is also a lot of the times if Puff squeezes in a rest, you can't trade that stock until a much higher percentage compared to other stages. So uh, you're much more likely to get rested where you can't trade the stock. I think that's a very important thing that a lot of foxes are not doing very good against Puff, where they rack up enough damage, so if they get rested, you can always trade the stock. I think that's very, very important against Puff. Uh, and on Dreamland, obviously, obviously that's uh, that's harder. Um, after that, I'll probably say FOD is second worst. I know Hungerbox have tested uh, FOD, Battlefield, been going a little bit back and forth, even tested Yoshis against certain foxes. Uh, but, but assuming that both the players are equally good on all the stages, I do think FOD is probably, probably Puff's second best. But it's debatable. It's debatable. The ceiling is relatively high. Uh, but honestly, it's not too much of a difference. Honestly, I would say it's mainly preference uh, between FOD and Battlefield. Battlefield is a little bit more consistent setups for Puff, which can be nice. Platforms are a bit more consistent, so movement-wise, I would say that's better for Fox. Uh, even though the platforms changing can help as well. So, yeah. I don't really like the fact that FOD's platforms are changing, but the fact that they do can really hurt and benefit both characters uh, which is also the same thing here but for fox it's more movement more consistent here uh but punishes for puff is more consistent on battlefield after that after that i would say yoshi's uh, also a little bit debatable i guess mango have successfully in the past used this stage against hunger box you do kill really really early on this stage but on the other hand you also die crazy early you get basically no room to laser at all uh, and once again as a reminder my order of the stages doesn't mean this is necessarily the right order for every person but this is what i think assuming that both players are equally good on all stages uh, randall can help out fox which is good and as we said, kill very early, but no room to laser really. Uh, makes me think that this stage is quite a bit worse than FD and Stadium. Uh, stadium is gonna be the second best stage for Fox. Second best stage. Uh, the reason why I put Stadium as second best and not the best, even though Stadium is traditionally a Fox counter pick, is the fact that the two platforms uh, means that Puff's punish game on average is quite a lot better. Sometimes on FD, when you do an up throw, you don't really get anything out of it. Uh, it's not nearly as bad as people say, but in some scenarios, you don't really get anything from the grab. 
uh, ceilings are relatively you know comparable as well transformations you might imagine that oh this is uh, really good for fox but the thing is puff can use chemical edge and you don't really get to use the transformation at all so with the current rule set uh with ledge like no ledge grab limit whatsoever uh, i think it's clear that ft is better if ledge grabs like if a ledge grab limit happens possibly stadium could go higher but even then i think the fact that the platforms are very small means that you are much more likely to die if you get grabbed even at like pretty much zero so yeah this would be my stage order against puff uh as fox all of these are going to be as fox against these characters uh against these characters yeah so yeah this is my order from worst to best uh, against Marth, against Marth, very obviously FD is the worst. I think most people don't really need too much of an explanation here. But long story short, uh, Marth's chain grabs are incredibly devastating on this stage, uh, and I don't think it's a single player at this point in time that would disagree about FD being Fox's worst stage against Marth. Uh, I will say though that outside of Muti King when he played. Uh, insane. Even Muti King started to get a little bit more sloppy with like Shane grabs uh, towards the end. But we have seen Muti King also have plenty of amazing games over the years on this stage. Sane as well. Uh, so yeah, FD by far the worst. This might be an unpopular opinion, but I think Stadium is Fox's second worst stage in the matchup. Uh, and the reason why is that I kind of feel like Stadium is like a, a mini FD in a sense. Uh, no top platform is really good for Marth and way worse for Fox. Uh, no top platform means that Marth's upper chains are even better and a lot easier. Uh, small side platforms are really good for Marth's uh, you know, up tilts and upper coverage as well. Uh, transformation also can be annoying to deal with but a lot of the times it ends up with both people waiting it out like both players have such a strong position that it's so hard to challenge the other person uh, they, the transformation still very obviously favors Fox and if you have very high damage or mark very little and you're on like uh, the rock transformation for example I think it could at times be worth it to gamble if you lose a stock you don't really lose much right if you even had like 150 already uh, but if Marth is at 20 and you manage to get that, uh, you know, uh, Shine, Laser, Infinite, then, yeah, could clearly be worth the gamble occasionally. After that, it gets rougher. After that, it gets rougher. Um, it is between these two stages, stages. It's between these two stages. Me, personally... I would honestly probably say FOD. Uh, I'll probably say FOD. Uh, part of the reason here is uh, when the when the platforms go into the ground, again you kind of play on like a mini FD. Without the side platforms, uh, Mars Chain Grab actually works for quite a while. Uh, ceiling is also relatively high too, but the main factor I feel like here is the side platforms uh, that they disappear. So I think this is Fox's third worst stage, but it is debatable. Uh, it is debatable. Uh, who? What after that? It's very even between these two stages: Battlefield and Dreamland. I'll probably put it this way. I'll probably put it this way. Uh, kind of similar stages in quite a few ways. The top platforms, pretty hard for Marth to deal with. Uh, one thing that I think makes Dreamland not as bad for Marth as historically thought is the fact that Marth is really good with uh, a lot of space. Uh, he kind of needs it for his dash dance, while for Fox, close quarters tends to be quite a bit better. Uh, which is also why I have Yoshi's as the best stage. Great ledge dashes basically gives you half the stage. Uh, 
or gives and gives, but have the chance of giving you half the stage. Uh, Marv is weak out of shield, and since this stage is very small, Marv in many situations will be forced to shielding, having a rough time getting out. Uh, wait, should I turn? Okay, I'll turn it off. I'll turn it off for now. I'll turn it off for now. Uh, it should be better now. But yeah, Yoshi's, Yoshi's, um, yeah, you die very early off the top as well. So, for Fox against Marf, I think Yoshi's is the best stage, especially if you play on point. If you don't play on point, sometimes it can be a little bit scary with super close quarters. Uh, but yeah, I think this is uh, probably my current stage order from worst to best for Fox against Marf. Uh, Falco... Falco honestly is probably my worst matchup as Fox out of these characters. Hmm. Mm, Pikachu is ninth on my list. Pikachu is ninth on my list. We're only going to do uh, the top eight matches. And then, yeah, the Ditto. Okay, technically it's uh, seven characters here, but the Ditto is like just preference. What's your strengths compared to your opponents? What's your weaknesses compared to your opponents? But yeah, against Falco, this is probably going to be controversial but i actually think fd might be the worst i actually think fd might be the worst and don't get me wrong i think fox wins versus falco if you look at the whole picture but i think people tunnel vision way too much on chain grabs as soon as soon as you mention chain grab all these reddit warriors out there think it's an out of win that's not the case my reasoning my reasoning for thinking this could be the worst stage in the matchup, and I'm open to the possibility that I'm wrong. Uh, but my reasoning here is that I think Falco's lasers are much more annoying to deal with when you don't have any platforms. I think it's significantly easier on FD for Falco to land a shine than it is for Fox to land a grab. And Fa Falco's combos for some reason, for some reason, a lot of people have gotten conditioned into thinking that Falco's combos are very bad and every SDI and you get, get out of the combo for free. That's not the case. Look at the top Falcos. Falco's punish game on this stage is absolutely brutal. So the fact that he lands Shine easier than Fox gets the grab and that Laser is way more annoying to deal with makes me think it's the worst stage for Fox. I'm not saying that Fox even necessarily loses here because I think this matchup on all stages are close enough where I don't really see why either character would complain. Um, after that... Ooh. Yeah, Falco, Falco is... Falco is a bit rough. Hmm. I feel like it's probably going to be one of Stadium and Dreamland. I'll put it like this for now. I'll put it like this for now. But these two might change. These two might change. Uh, the thing is here is that Falco, kind of like FD2, Falco wants more space. It's kind of similar to Fox versus Marth, where your opponent wants space and you are more fine with a smaller area, assuming you're good at the matchup. Uh, so both Stadium and Dreamland are... Uh, actually, no, I'll put this. No? No, I'll put this. I'll put this. Yeah, I was thinking it wrong. Uh, so yeah, both of these stages... No, I keep changing my mind. All right. I think we're set now. I think we're set now. Yeah, both these stages, large stages, give Falco a lot of room to work with. But but the fact is Dreamland killing killing upwards is significantly harder. So in the end, I think Dreamland 
just all around being slightly bigger, slightly harder to kill off the top. Uh, the thing is, recovery-wise, you probably could make the argument that these two stages should be swapped, but overall, probably pretty even-ish between which one is better, which one is worse. Uh, Hmm. This could be me not being the biggest fan of FOD, so that could be partly what is, uh, you know, a reason I put FOD here. Uh, but I feel like Falco, Falco's platform movement, like Falco is a really, really platform-based character, uh, but I don't really think his, his combos are falling short or, you know, getting worse when the, the platform changes heights. For Fox, for example, when the platform is low, and don't ask me why people don't do this. Uh, I'll probably make a video about it at some point in the future. But with Fox on this stage, when you do up for up air, like you up row, they land on platform, you up air. Many times you get the, only the second hit of up air, which means you can slide off. Uh, so I think Fox's punishes on this stage actually gets worse. It's just that no one really makes Fox suffer for it. Uh, so, and then if the if the platforms disappear overall, kind of similar to Marth, it turns into like a mini FD, which I again think is Fox's worst stage in the matchup. After that, Battlefield, Yoshi's. Biggest difference, I have Yoshi as a better stage uh, for Fox is smaller stage, close quarters, and Falco will be forced to shield more. A lot of the same reasoning. Uh, in those two matchups for, for Fox. So yeah, this is my list for Fox versus Falco. Worst to best stage. Against uh, against uh, Sheik. Worst stage. Oh, it's between these two. It's between these two. Um, I'll probably put it this way. I'll probably put it this way. I personally prefer to play on Battlefield over FOD, but I think F, uh, I think Battlefield is better for Sheik. Uh, platforms disappearing hurts Sheik more than it hurts Fox. Her recovery becomes even even uh, even uh, worse. Uh, less of mix-ups. Uh, landing on platforms for Sheik can be good when she recovers, or not good, but less bad, uh, and that can disappear on this stage. Uh, Battlefield gives you the, those consistent platforms, Sheik's platform movement. Like when you when you watch Plop playing Sheik on this stage, that's some of the most beautiful nail you will see, if you ask me. Uh, so yeah, I, I think Battlefield, the platform consistency, better for Sheik. Her recovery turns from awful to slightly less awful having platforms. Uh, after that. Now it's between Dreamline and Yoshi's, but I will probably put Yoshi's. I'll probably put Yoshi's. I think Dreamland, Dreamland gives you more of the freedom between playing offense and defense. Yoshi's forces a bit more offense. Uh, so it could be better for some Foxes, but Fox's keep away game is pretty strong and you can still play pretty aggressive. Of course, it's not gonna be as overwhelming because she still have room to work with. Uh, but I personally feel like it can be really hard for Sheik to uh, chase down Fox in Dreamland if the Fox is very good at playing, you know, the more passive uh, run and gun style. But I'll say they're in the same tier of how good slash bad they are in the matchup. And don't get me wrong, I actually think Fox wins on every stage in this matchup. It's just a matter of how much. Uh, Stadium, I think, is second, the second best. And as we can see, Stadium and FD always ends up in like <laughs> pretty much the the two two best or two worst spots. Um, the main difference here is no platforms means Cheeks. Sheik coming down. Sheik is a character with a very bad aerial mobility. Uh, like if you are Sheik in the air and you're drifting to one of the sides, you move very slowly. Sheik also do not really have any moves that protects her well. 
Like she doesn't have, you know, a downer to cover a lot of space, stuff like that. Uh, her downer actually has an awful, awful hitbox below her. Uh, so having platforms can make it easier for Sheik to get down. On FD, she doesn't have that at all. Uh, the platforms on Stadium is too far in, so they won't really help the recovery purpose when you're upping and stuff. Uh, but in neutral, still having the platforms valuable for Sheik. FD, you can't you can't hide anywhere. No shield drops. Getting down is painful. So yeah, this would be my list for Fox. From worst to best, Fox versus Sheik. Um, all right, so Fox versus Falcon. Ugh. This is rough. This is rough. I don't know. Whenever I played Fox versus Wizzy, S to J or none, I feel like I never really cared too much about stage. Uh, let me think for a sec. Uh, nah, I'll probably put I'll probably put Dreamland as the worst stage. Uh, stadium is second worst. Here, here also, once again, Fox, Fox is just this amazingly character that can play very aggressive if he wants to. So a lot of characters, uh, a lot of characters, unless Fox really does run in gun style, uh, which he can't do against Falcon. But in those cases when Fox can't really camp, the other character tend to want to have more space, which is provided on Dreamland and Stadium. Uh, main reason I put Dreamland as a better stage. Yo, Air Dash Club, thank you for 28 months. The reason I put Dreamland as better for Falcon, so Fox's worst stage in the matchup, is mainly mainly the ceiling. Uh, I also feel like Falcon's recovery will be a little bit more tricky on this stage. Uh, Quay, thank you for 41 months. Yeah. Like, edge cancels with up B, I feel like will happen more. Will happen more for Falcon on this stage. All right, I'm going to try to wrap this up pretty fast since Melee's about to start. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, I'll say Battlefield, third worst. All right, I'm going to do this where I place... Place the stages and then just talk about them. <sighs> Alright, chat. Also, yeah, just let me know as soon as it starts. And if we're not done, we're not done. It's not the worst deal. Not the worst deal. So, yeah, this, this will be my stage order against Falcon. Uh, the main reason Yoshi's and FOD are the best for Fox... Once again, close quarters, Falcon, bad out of shield. Players like SJ might make you think that Falcon is not that bad out of shield, but that's honestly more a player like SJ just being really, really good at it. Uh, huge advantage for Fox, having Falcon in shield. These two stages provide a little bit more uh, room to work with. FD, not too, too bad. Falcon's tech chases with a Wizzy style can be incredibly brutal. But Fox also has some really interesting tool in his punish game uh, that can be very good to use with up throw fares, up throw dash attacks, uh, on certain DIs and stuff. But I'll still probably put FD as third best for Fox. Against Peach. Fox's worst stage, FD. A lot of Peaches actually don't counterpick here as their first pick. Again, people tend to tunnel vision, chain grab equals Fox, Falco, Falcon loses. I actually think Fox loses, or Fox wins on every stage in this matchup. Uh, the thing that makes a lot of Peaches not go here as their first pick is that it's actually really hard. It's really hard to land. Uh, land grabs against a good fox on this stage. Yo, Prane, thank you for the 40 months, buddy. How are you doing? 
Uh, but yeah, it can be really hard for Peach to get a grab on this stage. Uh, so a lot of Peaches, they tend to go FOD instead because you get like close quarters. They can't really run away easily. They, they are forced to fight a bit more. Uh, Dome, thank you for 21 months, buddy. Uh, Dreamland, it's a little bit of a myth of how good this stage is for Peach because you can really, really, really get camped in this matchup on this stage. I'm not even sure if I think it's the third best. Uh, against players not willing to camp at all, it might even be the second best. Uh, but against foxes that are willing to camp, I'm not even sure if this one belongs in this displacement. Uh, but yeah, chain grabs, really strong. If you're a really good peach, reading movement, when fox is trying to escape corners, when they're trying to attack. If you're playing really good, FT becomes your best stage. FOD, fox can't run from you really. Pretty high ceiling, second best stage. Dreamland can be good, mainly against aggressive or at least kind of aggressive foxes, against really passive foxes. I might not even counterpick this stage at all. Uh, I would actually put Yoshi's as Peach's third. Wait. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I'm thinking it right. Sometimes I get confused with the way I order it. Uh, I'll say, yeah, this is Fox's third worst stage. Wait, we're going to place them like this. So for Fox, best stage, Stadium, Battlefield, Yoshi, Streamland, FOD, FD. So Stadium, obviously the worst, low ceiling, wide stage, hard to reach him. You die incredibly early. All transformations are awful. You can't really like nearly as easily camp them out or wait them out. You can't like puff, for example, ledge camp. That doesn't work. Uh, so many times you're actually more forced to fight them. Uh, but yeah, mainly the fact, really wide, hard to catch him. It's, in some ways, it's almost like a dreamland with low ceiling. Uh, so, really, really rough. I hate, I hate fighting Fox on this stage as Peach. Even in PAL. Uh, actually, back in the day, in PAL against Foxes, way worse at the game than me. I actually tended to lose. Uh, and then, like, always 3-1. Drop a game on Stadium. Okay, not always, but it was crazy how much more often I lost on that stage, despite having the most experience on that stage. Uh, Battlefield, uh, some people might be surprised. Some people might be surprised because normally Mango used to pick Yoshi's more and me Battlefield, but I felt more and more as Melee progressed, that top platform on Battlefield is so annoying for Peach to deal with. This top platform for Peach, uh, it's kind of like your opponent have a safe spot. You can't challenge that spot quickly at all. The only thing that reaches relatively quickly is up B, but then you're not even going to land on the platform. So you get like 2-3 damage while taking a pretty big risk. Yoshi's, the top platform, is not a safe spot. Full hop up air and full hop nair reaches. On Battlefield, they don't. And that really, really makes a difference. Sure, the wall on Yoshi's makes it a bit easier for Fox to recover, but I think having the top platform as a safe area is really valuable against Peach. So for Fox, if you're a Fox player, best stage to worst stage against Peach, I would say. Uh, against Ices, worst stage, again, FD. I, I still think Fox wins every stage on this matchup too. I don't think Ices is that good of a character, but FD means no platforms to hide, which means higher chance to getting grabbed, getting wobbled. Pretty wide stage, so Gimping Nana is not going to happen as often. Uh, second worst stage... Hmm, this is rougher. This is also a matchup I haven't played too, too much. Uh, how would I place this? Wait, let me just place first. Yeah, I think FD is worst. I think Yoshi's is Fox's best. Ooh, it actually gets hard. 
I feel Yoshi's is clearly the best for Fox, and I feel like FD is clearly the worst for Fox. The four other stages are a bit harder to rank. Uh, I bad if all is... I think I will place it like this. I feel like I will place it like this. Uh, FOD, you reach top platform, which is huge. Uh, it's a little bit more annoying on uh, Dreamland and Battlefield, I feel like. Platforms disappearing, again, mini FD, bit harder to escape all the, the wobble setups. Uh, stadium. Yo, Slasher, thank you for the 25 months with Twitch Prime. Yeah, these two, these two can honestly go could go in any order. These, these could go in any order. Dreamland is more annoying. Uh, top platform, but you do survive longer upwards. Stadium, you die sooner, but you don't have to deal with any top platform whatsoever. Uh, but yeah, Yoshi's, I feel like clearly the best. Icy's forced into shield a lot when Fox decides to go aggro. Nana gets gimped from literally anywhere on this stage. So yeah, I would say... I'll say this is probably my order, but I feel like the the matchups I felt very strongly about was Puff, Marf, uh, Sheik, and Peach, Falco, Falcon, Icy. Some a little bit more. Mm, maybe I'll, I'll I'll do some changes in the future. Uh, Icy is probably I felt like the least certain about because I actually didn't really play this matchup much at all. I played it a few games here and there against some top Icy's, but I, I don't know. As Peach, I always felt like Isis was pretty free. <laughs> so I never even bothered playing this matchup ever, pretty much. But yeah, we have gone over all these characters. Foxes, worst to best stage. Please let me know in all matchups. What do you guys think? What stages do you guys think I was wrong at? Which stages do you agree with? And so on. And I think tomorrow we're actually going to do this same thing for Peach against all these characters as well. Uh, but then against Fox, obviously, but of course it will be the same as I listed here, but you know what I mean.